Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a new release rifle from Springfield Armory called the 2020 Redline. It's in 308 and another model is available in 6.5 Creedmoor. I went with the 308 with the 16 inch barrel. 20 inch barrels are also available in each the models, 308 and 6.5 Creedmoor. It is very light, six pounds without the bipod or the optic. And so if you're the type of hunter that's going to park and walk a distance to your blind or wherever it is you're going, you're going to like the features that this offers and you're going to like the weight savings that this offers. Now the optic that I have here is a Bushnell 4500 Elite. It's a 2.5 by 10 magnification with a 40 millimeter lens. I think this setup is amazing. And I already took it to the range, put a lot of rounds through it. The optic, rifle, bipod combination was excellent. Let's start at 125 yards, then we'll move back from there. Are you ready? I am if you are. Holes right on top of each other. Yep. If I'm not mistaken, those were holes right on top of each other. That was nice. Hundred and twenty five yards. Let's take a closer look at the 2020 Redline 308 rifle. As I mentioned, this is available with a 16 inch or a 20 inch barrel. This is a 16 inch barrel. The idea here is to maximize the weight savings, making it easier to tote around. Now the stock is called Graybow Trekker. You can see it's olive with some black webbing throughout. And the buttstock is hollow. All right, once again, saving weight. The Recoil pad is pretty squishy. You may notice there are two spacers there. Other spacers are available. You could adjust the length of pull quite a bit with this. The receiver is green, like an olive drab green. I think it looks cool. The 16 inch barrel is threaded. It has a SA radial brake, which disperses the gases. Even though it's lightweight, it doesn't jump around too much. I, I was able to control it quite well without having to decrease the intensity of my magnification with the optic. The barrel itself is free floating and it has this carbon fiber roll wrapped sleeve throughout. It makes no contact with the barrel at all. So it, it, that also keeps the weight down. This is so light I can hold it right up to my shoulder, shoot into this berm and charge it while on my shoulder. It has three sling mounts right there, they're studs. This one here, I attach the Harris bipod. I picked this up at Cabela's, believe it or not, on the way up here. A Harris bipod, I, I like it. I like Harris bipods, and I went with this. And so that attaches there, then you could run a sling with that stud mount and the one in the rear of the stock. The action is based off a of Remington 700, so there's plenty of aftermarket support. You can see the bolt itself is fluted. It has dual locking lugs, and the bolt handle rotates down to 90 degrees. The knob can be removed. I don't know why anybody would want to do that, but they, they could if they choose. But it has a level right there, so when you mount the optic, you can make sure it squares up just the way you want it. So 
there are no surprises at the range. Action, very smooth. I like the way that operates. A couple times at the range, I, I tried to bring it down a little too soon, but you can see that it operates just as it should. The magazine releases right there on the bottom of the trigger guard. All you do is hit that and the magazine comes out. It's a three round magazine for 308. It's an MDT magazine. And just throw it up there, you have three rounds available. It has a non-snag thumb safety right there, so when the safety is forward, it is fire, and then back here is safe. A little bit right, man. Eight inch. Very right hand side, a little bit high. Okay, 10 inch. Ooh, you pulled that one a little bit I higher. I pulled right. it. Yep. With the exception of the optic and the bipod, this rifle weighs six pounds out of the case. That is, <laughs> that's extremely light, especially for a heavy load like. 308 Winchester. The trigger mechanism is a trigger tech trigger. We'll take a closer look there. We'll move the safety forward. This adjusts from two and a half to five pounds, just like that. Very light trigger out of the case. Very light. The Bushnell Elite 4500 did exactly what I needed it to do. I stretched out the 300 yards and I realized that the capacity with the 308 is much further than that. However, it gives you that more magnification when you want it to, even at the 300 to stretch out further than a, a 3 to 9 magnification. This will get it done. The MSRP on this is only 300 bucks and I, I'm very happy with it. I felt that I had complete control of the rifle and the optic choice was very nice. Where I'm at in Michigan, any hunting purposes will keep you closer to 50 to 100 yards and I felt, I felt great with this. Ready? Yeah. Okay, a little bit low center. right at the top of the plate that time. Center windage. That's a good hit, I can't tell. So that's the new 2020 Red Line by Springfield Armory. Let me know if you like it. See the way it looks with that composite stock. It has a definitely different look to it. A different feel to it you actually have to feel it to get a true sense of how light it actually is but it's also a shooter and that SA radio mu muzzle brake certainly helped cut down on the recoil even by holding it up to your shoulder it really isn't that bad so I'm curious to know your thoughts would you go 308 6.5 Creedmoor would you go with the 16 inch barrel 20 inch barrel let me know as well as your thoughts on the 2020 red line if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe